Hi there. Uh, my name is Jason Caldwell. I'm the lead developer for the S2 member plugin for WordPress. In this video, we're going to focus specifically on PayPal modification buttons and PayPal cancellation buttons. Uh, and more than the cancellation, because these are pretty simple, we're going to spend quite a bit of time on the modification buttons because this is a confusing topic. Uh, it, it actually is very powerful and so because it's so powerful there's a lot of questions revolving around how you actually work out the logic of upgrading or downgrading a member from one level to another one through PayPal. So hopefully this video will help to, to clarify some of that. Okay so starting with modification buttons you'll see that there's quite a bit of detail here in an effort to provide you with as much information as we can to make the process as easy as, as it can be. Uh, and I'm going to skip over this for right now and go straight to uh, walking you through how this is accomplished. The first thing that you decide when you're going to set up a modification button is what you want the modification button to do. Now on this installation, uh, I'm utilizing level 0 and level 1. So I'm only dealing with two levels in this case. So level 0 on this site is for free registration where I have people sign up for free and they become free subscribers. And then I have a paid level one, which I allow my free subscribers to either join up initially at level one, or I'm going now to allow them to upgrade their level zero account to a level one status. So I'm going to choose level one here. I want them to upgrade to level one so that they can start paying me for premium access. Okay, then, so the next thing I decide is, do I want to offer a free trial? to a free subscriber that's upgrading. Now even though I am offering a free trial on level one initially, I'm going to make the decision here that since they've already been a free subscriber before they actually upgrade, I'm not going to offer a free trial because chances are uh, I'm going to have the ability at that point where they're upgrading to go ahead and uh, convert this initially into a sale so I don't have to to run the risk of the subscriber canceling during that additional trial period. So I'm just going to leave this at zero. Now you don't have to. You can offer an additional trial even with an upgrade. That's fine. That works just fine. Okay, the next thing is to choose how much I'm going to charge for this upgrade. Now, since I'm upgrading in this case a level zero subscriber to level one, they haven't been paying me anything. They've been completely accessing the site for free with limited access at level zero. And now they're going to sign up with level one. So I, I'm not really going to give them a discount. I'm going to charge them the same rate that I charge all of my level one subscribers, and that is $169 a month. Okay, and there's several options here that we went over in the previous video. And these are all the same options that you see in the other PayPal button generators on this page. You know, it's for level one, two, three, but these are all the same options here in this menu. Okay, this little watch out for the 20% rule, this little notification here. Uh, this is a PayPal limitation, unfortunately. When you have, it doesn't, it doesn't apply in this case because my, the, the upgrade to level one is taking a member who is not paying anything that is not associated with a subscription where there's, there's no current rate, there's no current charges. Uh, it doesn't apply here, but let's say that I was upgrading from level one where they're already paying to level two. Okay, if I was doing that, then I would have to make sure that whatever I, they were currently being billed on at level one, that the new rate that I'm having them upgrade to is within 20% of what they're currently paying. Okay, so if if they were currently paying you $100 a month, then you would only want to increase that amount in the upgrade by 20% of that $100. Okay, that's a PayPal limitation. You could click these links if you'd like to learn more about that limitation. It's to safeguard. Uh, their customers so that massive changes in billing are not are not possible by merchants. Um, if you, I'm not real fond of that rule, but uh, if you'd like to follow these links and uh, you know offer uh, your uh, opinion about it, uh, please feel free to do that. You know, maybe if enough people, uh, enough merchants out there complain about that limitation, they'll modify it in some way to make additional features possible in the future. Okay, in this case, I don't need to worry about this rule though because I'm upgrading them from level zero to level one. Okay, the checkout page style, I'm just going to leave it the default. We covered this in the previous video. And in this case, I'm just leaving that at the default. I don't have a custom page style right now. And the custom capabilities, uh, I'm also going to skip over here because we're going to do separate videos on this. And, and I've mentioned that a couple of times in the previous videos. You can find a video on custom capabilities 
uh, on our website at s2member.com if this interests you. None of th these are not required. Uh, you feel free to leave this blank. This will be just fine. All right, so I just click generate button code, just like I do for any of these buttons. And it will come up and it will say a little bit different message. It will say, your modification button has been generated. Please copy and paste the shortcode format, which we're referring, the shortcode format we're referring to is right here, into your login welcome page. Now this is different because the sign up buttons would normally go into your membership options page. And although these buttons could go anywhere on your site, we're recommending the proper location because the login welcome page is where this would be also considered maybe the my account page. And so it's a good page to put an upgrade option. It's just, it's a great place to do that. Do you have to? No, you can put it anywhere you like, but we recommend the login welcome page. It's easier that way. Okay, so I just click OK here. I'm going to take my short code and copy it. And I have another tab open here where I already have my login welcome page opened in my WordPress page editor. And I can see that the slug for this page is login welcome page. Now you could rename this to anything that you prefer. It doesn't have to be named that. Uh, you could change it. And on this login welcome page, again, remember this is where we, we would consider the My Account page. So this would be where you would provide information, the links, and all the details about what it is that they purchase access to. So you might have several lines here, or you might have other media, like if you sold access to MP3s, or you sold access to videos, or some software, you might have a download link here. And then at the bottom, you might offer, underneath that information, you might pop in your subscription modification button where they would be able to upgrade to premium membership. Okay, so I'll just pop that right in here. You can do that in the visual or HTML tab. It doesn't matter. The shortcode formats are compatible with either one of these tabs. Then you just click update. And if I go to this page now, I will see that I have a PayPal button. Now it's confusing in this in this context because I haven't labeled it upgrade or anything like that and it's just using the default checkout with PayPal button. So I'm going to go back and edit this page a little bit more to make this a little clearer. What I could do is just come up right above the button and just put would you like to upgrade? Check out here. And so that makes it a little clearer what it is I'm what I, what it, why that button is in that position that it's in. Now you might be asking yourself, and this is a very common question: What happens if they upgrade to level one? I'm going to go ahead and update this page. What happens if they go ahead and upgrade to level one, and then they return to their login welcome page, and they see the upgrade button again? Well, that's not real customer friendly, is it? So we need to work out some sort of logic here. And this is one of the confusions about modification buttons is how do you, how do you work this out? How do I provide the right modification button to a member at different levels? There's a couple of ways you can accomplish it. And I'm going to go over the simplest, or I should say the most user-friendly way without having to use any of what we term advanced conditionals. In other words, you can use what we call advanced conditionals to go in here and put some logic into this post or page uh, and work this out dynamically in with PHP code snippets. That's what's called advanced conditionals, and I'm going to cover that in this video. But first I'm going to show you how you can do it without any coding like that at all. Okay, what you can do is go to your S2 member general options panel. And on the general options panel, if you go to your login welcome page subsection and expand that down you'll see that you have the option to choose or to configure a login welcome page. So I can choose that page here in the drop down as, and designate that login welcome page that I titled login welcome page. I, I titled it this. It doesn't have to be named that, by the way. You can name it anything you want, but I just did that for clarity. So I can choose it here, or I can leave this empty, and instead I could put in a URL like this one, where I'm specifying my own specific URL and you notice this is what we refer to, refer to as a replacement code. And these are documented in this little link right here. It says replacement codes. And it tells me, this is the one I want to focus on right now. It tells me that this is the current user's S2 member level. So in other words, this URL that I've specified will change dynamically based on the value of the current user level. So. When a, when a member logs in, if they're a free subscriber, they're going to be redirected to login welcome page zero. 
So I need to create a, two different login welcome pages, in other words. I need to create one where the current user level would be zero, and then I need to create another one where the login welcome page would, be, would end with a one. And that's exactly what I need here because that's going to give me the ability to put my modification button into the page that ends in zero so that, it, so that the level zero members have the opportunity to upgrade to level one. But then when they log back in at level one, I'll have no modification button on the level one page. So that handles the logic of how those buttons are displayed, and it does it without any PHP code at all. I just create two different pages. So I'm going to go ahead and update this option here. And then I'm going to go back over to my list of pages. And whereas right now I have one login welcome page that just is login welcome page, I need to change this now. And I will make this the login welcome page zero slot. So that when a level zero member logs in, they're going to hit this page because this is where I have my modification button. Okay, and I'll just copy whatever else I had in this page. And in this case, it's just this generic label here. But I will go ahead and update this page. And now I will create a new page. And in this page, all I will put is what it is that what, what it is that level one uh, members should receive access to. And I won't include that, that upgrade button here because they're already at the highest level that I offer on this site. Okay, and see I have, I need to change this slide. This should end just login welcome page dash one. Dash one. And then I click publish. Now before I do that, I'm going to disable the comments on this. I don't want the comments to be available on this page. I'll click publish. Okay, so now in my, if I go back to my page list, I have two login welcome pages. And let me just quickly edit this one and call this level zero with a slug with zero in it. And this is level one with the slug one in it. So you see how that that replacement code that I put into my general options now allows that, that logic to, to occur automatically without having to use any of those advanced conditionals that are intimidating to novice users. Okay, so let's test this out real, real quick. And, and one of the things you'll notice when you test it out, I'm going to show you kind of a little quirky behavior here. Okay, this takes me to login welcome page one. All right, you, you probably don't want to have these login welcome pages in your navigation menu. So I just wanted to point this out. Whenever you set up your site and you see and you create pages, you'll probably want to pop these types of pages out because these are going to be redirected by S2 member automatically. They don't need to be up here in your menu. Even your membership options page you could pull out of here and instead create maybe a banner in your sidebar, something along those lines that promotes it. And that way you have a lot of real estate up here remaining to put it in whatever it is that you're providing uh, information about or access to. Uh, so just to point that out. Okay, so let's come back over here and let's just walk through another scenario. Let's say that we want to allow level one members to downgrade. Okay, now why would they want to downgrade? What would they be downgrading to? That's a great question. And, and the, the downgrade to level one, there's the only way you can